Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Be With a Purpose. So today I have for you guys a trying makeup from my subscription boxes. They're playing with new makeup. However you want to put it, it's makeup that my channel has never seen before, as well as makeup that I have gotten in from subscription boxes. So now with that being said, I will be trying a new foundation. So because of that, I will be going in with my usual primers besides the fact that I don't have any new primers, but I do want to use what works best for my skin because I really want to give this foundation like, or these foundations, we'll see which one I get to decide to try, like a fair shot. So, what I'm going to go in with first is my Touch and Soul Pretty Filtered Glassy Skin Balm. And we're just going to apply this all over our face. And then the next thing, if you guys know, then you know, I'm going to go ahead and go on with my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Set It uh, <laughs> Primer. And I'm taking just the tiniest bit. I'm going to put this on my problem areas. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and set, or not set. Also prime my face with this Skin & Company Truffle Therapy Mist. Okay, so for my brows, I'm gonna go ahead and fill those in and then I will be right back because I don't have any new brow product. Okay, and now back to some new makeup. One thing I'm going to be, I have, I've already played with some of this. This is my first time trying it. This is just new to my channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer that I just recently got. I've used it twice now and I think it does a really good job of holding on to your eyeshadow and just helping it stick better. And it does, have like a taxi texture to it and this was three dollars i believe and i have mine in the shade sheer i found mine at target so now i'm just going to take this brush right here and i'm going to go ahead and just blend that out Okay, so now I have two eyeshadow palettes here that are new to my collection, and they're both by ColourPop. I have the Orange You Glad and the Nude Mood. Now, I'm not sure what the price difference is on these, but like the orange one has like a hard packaging, and then the Nude Mood is like cardboard. And then there's no mirror in this one, and then this one has like a super good mirror. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to use shades out of both of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Bluffin here in the Nude Mood Palette and just set that uh, primer down that we used. Like I said, this primer does, is super tacky, so it's like you don't want your eyeshadows to skip or anything because even with what I'm setting what I'm putting on right now to set it, like it's like it's it's skipping if that makes sense. So I do recommend setting this eyeshadow primer. I actually don't think I'm going to be able to combine these honestly, just because like this one is super warm and this one is actually super cool tone. So I'm only going to be using the bluffing shade out of the nude mood palette. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with this shade, this palette, and I'm gonna take cream sickle and just buff that into my crease. I'm just going in with my Wet n Wild blending brush. And these show up way different than when they, than what they look like in the pan. So this is creamsicle in the pan, and then this is creamsicle on my eye. And I feel like it's a lot more orange than what it looks in the pan. Like in the pan, it looks a little bit more peachy, and it's way more orange once you apply it. You know what, I forgot to apply my eye tapes. So let me do that really fast. Okay, back to blending. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take Sunkiss 
and I'm gonna kind of put that in the same area, just not as high or blown out. Okay, and now that I've created like kind of a little bit of a halo, I'm gonna go in with Tangerine Dreams and fill that all the way in. And I'm taking one side of my brush with that. I'm just gonna put that everywhere that there's a blank space. Okay, and now dead in the center of my eye. It looks really gold on my eyelid, not even orange. Same brush, opposite side. On the center of my eye, I'm gonna take Squeeze Me and apply that right like where my pupil is. That's where I'm gonna pop it. And now for a product, finally, that I got in a subscription in a subscription box is you know what i need to do my brow bone we will go ahead and go in with the shade zested and just get our brow bone with that you know it is going to come off a little bit more orange but it is still lighter so it's just going to add like that perfect like gradient effect of like light to dark now i did get this in my ipsy it's the il maquillage it's the il maquillage um ink liner in black and so we're just gonna go ahead and line with this and just see how it works orange and black reminds me of Halloween This eyeliner is super black, so I'm pretty sure if you make a mistake, it would be pretty hard to clean up. And I actually do need to clean this one up at the bottom just a little bit, because my tape wasn't placed exactly like this one, where it's like super duper sharp. So, okay, I've been trying out the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara, the BFF Volumizing Mascara, and I have mine in the shade like on black. Um. I don't like it for the lower lashes. I feel like it smudges onto your lower lash line and that's not cute. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Salon Perfect 614 lashes and pop those on and I will be right back. So lashes are on. The look, this eyeshadow look is like, hmm, like, ready for summer ready for summer sunset right yeah ready for summer sunsets <laughs> okay so now for foundation do i want to use which one so i got this one in my boxy charm this is the becca ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation in the shade buttercup and then i have the wonder nude illusion liquid foundation in the shade medium so how about we just swatch these and see which one matches me better oh that looks almost perfect a little bit of that goes a long way okay so that goes almost perfect and then this is Buttercup. I accidentally got a full pump. Mm. Buttercup looks a tiny bit light, but 
Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit on that side of this and we're gonna use both. So, now that we have some buttercup on us, let's go ahead and try out, I don't like this packaging. Like if you're gonna give me a doe foot, at least make sure the doe foot takes out enough product for me to swipe it all over my face. And the claims, I'm gonna get everything dirty, y'all. Everything. Got eyeshadow on my shirt. Like, look at this. I don't know how I'm gonna get that out. <laughs> and then, got foundation all over this. But the claims on this say, a weightless fluid foundation formulated for full coverage with a natural radiant finish. Designed with the doe foot applicator to deliver seamless coverage whether you wherever you wander enriched with niacinamide and lotus flower to improve skin radiance. So in my boxy charm I also got this these lucky luck Lexi sponges. So I'm just gonna try that to blend out this foundation. I remember when this Wander Beauty foundation came out, a lot of people were actually like raving about it. Like how it was full coverage, but like it was good for dry skin and I have a dry skin. So we shall see. Just y'all, I did not spend a lot of money on foundations. So I get in where I can fit in. And these shades are actually really similar to the shades that I have in my Wet n Wild foundations. So the shade matches are actually pretty awesome. I'm so scared to get this on my clothes because foundation and clothes, mm -mm. But just a little bit more where I'm having some breakout, so everywhere. It's not covering my freckles, so I wouldn't say it's like full coverage, full coverage but it is covering up like a lot. And I don't see it yet clinging to any of like my breakout dry pack. There we go, it's buildable. So I would say medium to buildable coverage, not even just full coverage. It's not immediately full coverage because now you can hardly see the breakouts right here. And I actually like this sponge. It feels like, it feels like it's somewhere in between the Real Techniques sponge and the Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge. Closer to the Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge, but a little bit more thick, not stiff, but like it feels a little bit more dense and thick than the Wet n Wild one, but not as thick and dense as uh, Real Technique. So this is like a spot on, like the Eco Tool Sponge, the green one would be like a spot on dupe for this, I guess you could say. If you don't wanna spend $40 on the whole pack. Okay, so I'm just taking this on my ears just a little bit because I think it is neutral toned, but it does pull a little bit more pink and I have a, like kind of yellowy undertones. So the next thing I'm going to be taking is my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer and we're just going to conceal everywhere and to highlight a little bit. And then I will be taking, I think that these are even, so I'm gonna take one side to blend out my concealer and then I'll be using the other side to apply powder. I have a terrible under eye bags. But I like this because this flat edge is like, I don't know if you can tell, but how flat, like how pointy that edge is. So it's really easy to get like right up on your lower lashes. And then I'm not messing up this edge either because it's super easy. Okay, so the next thing I'm going in with is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. And this does say um, I believe one of the claims is that it doesn't have flashback, which is kind of weird because like, it's white. Just like their extraordinary setting powder, it's white. The only difference to me, I haven't tried the powder yet, honestly, but so far, just by like the look of it, the only difference to me is that this smells like coconut. So we will see. 
Oh, that's white. So, about this powder, with the Extraordinary Powder, I feel like I can't put it all over my face, like it's just a little bit too drying. Now, this does look like powder, like don't get me wrong, you are going to have to put some setting spray on this, but other than that, like, definitely lightens your foundation. This is something, if you have... It definitely lightens your foundation. So this is something that if you have oilier skin and you don't need the sponge to set it, like I would go in with the brush. Cause then I feel like it won't be as intense as with a sponge. Cause you know, a sponge kind of like packs it on in those areas. And so if you don't need like that extra hydration, I would definitely try a brush with it. I'm just not somebody like I cannot stand the way it looked like. I cannot stand the way that my uh makeup looks when i put setting powder on with the brush so yeah but like i said it definitely lightens your foundation i'm thinking that if you get a brush into it it won't lighten it as much okay so now going back in we're gonna go back in with cream sickle and apply that kind of blowing out on our lower lash line Now we're just going to go in with a little bit of Sun Kissed. And for my inner corner, I'm actually going to put Squeeze Me. Okay, and then going back in with that same BFF Mascara by ColourPop. I'm using a lot of ColourPop in today's video. Oh, crap. Speaking of. Nude liner on the waterline, and this is the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude. Okay, now I'm going in with the BFF mascara. Okay, so that is it for the eyes. The eyes are done so You can still see where I kind of messed up. So when I take pictures, they will all be up this side. Bronzer, 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 bronzer. Like I told you guys, I have been trying to just bronze up my skin a little bit more and I'm really glad that I pulled this out because, right, this one it is, because I didn't know that it was gonna lighten my foundation this much, but it did, so. I'm take a little bit of this bronzer, start bronzing up our face with this. I'm not gonna be too, too precise with this. Just trying to warm up the face. And then again, this is my Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer in the shade O2 Warm. Did I tell you guys I got that Ciate London powder in my Boxycharm. And I will have the retail price of everything that I've used on the screen, like across the bottom. You guys will see everything that I used in the price. Okay, so that is warmed up. Got a little bit of color that going back on. So I'm gonna take this little brush right here and then to contour, I'm going in with my number seven bronzer in the shade Maple. Okay, for blush, I got this Lovecraft Beauty Blush Palette, and it has really beautiful shades. So since we have like this super orangey look going on, I'm gonna go in with the shade Dauphine, Dauphine and apply that to the cheekers here. Ooh, super powdery, lots of kickback. Be gentle when you dab into these, because they're a lot softer than you, they look. Okay, for highlighter, I'm going to be taking ooh, this 
Halo, Hello Halo Highlighter by Wet n Wild and I have mine in the shade After Sex Glow and I'm going to be mixing them. Is it weird that I feel awkward like saying things like that? Like whenever makeup products have like really, really provocative names. Like it just kind of throws me off. And if you ever wonder why I don't go like make the C with my highlight, it's because I have a really wide face and I don't want to widen it more by making the C. So I will go ahead and do my brow bone and stuff, but I won't like make the full C. Okay, so for today's lip liner, I have quite a few products. I have this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Sunnyside, the, lip, the Lippy Pencil in the shade Little One, and then I also have this pretty, this Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Soul Velvet Lipstick, and I have mine in the shade, I believe it's called Soul Rose is the one I got. Can't find the color right now and everything, yeah. Yeah, Soul Rose. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the ColourPop Pretty Filter. Let me know down below, guys. Do you have to sharpen the ColourPop Lippy Pencils? Now that I have my lips lined, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Touch and Soul lipstick in the shade Soul Rose. Wow, how did I completely forget that I had on an orange eye? <laughs> Anyways, wait, we gonna make it work, hold on. Y'all, this is so funny. I did not remember that I had an orange eye on with this lipstick. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and leave on that lipstick. I'm gonna just go over it with this ColourPop one in the shade, um, what is this called? Sunny Side. I may have to start from scratch cause I feel like I need a nude, nude lip for this. Mm, it's a little bit better. So it's going to dry down matte. The one thing I do like about this, ooh, about this Touch and Soul Pretty Filter lipstick is it makes your lips look like a really pretty soft matte and it's not so intense. And so some final touches, set the brows. We're going to spray this. Okay, you guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I actually have no complaints about any of the products that I used today. I think everything looks super pretty. Like I tell you guys all the time, I'm just prone to creases underneath my eyes, so that doesn't bother me. But it looks nice and smooth other than my natural creases that are already there. The creases don't look crepey. It doesn't look like product is selling in, settling into those creases or anything like that. My skin looks super, super smooth even with my breakouts like my breakouts you know how sometimes the skin on breakouts can get kind of crusty well that's not happening today so yeah i love the way everything came out that eyeliner is super duper black Ooh, like i just love it and then seeing my face as a whole like i don't think the pink lipstick looks bad because it's kind of like a warm rosy pink so i think it's pretty cute i'm not gonna change it i really don't care <laughs> like who cares? It's makeup. Do what you want. And so, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more video suggestions, please go ahead and leave them in the comment box, comment box down below. Also, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah!